All right, so next we're going to take this formula that we've sort of worked so hard to prove here, um, giving this geometric interpretation of the dot product. And we're going to put it to use finding some angles between pairs of vectors. So let me to just get ourselves started. We can plot the vectors. One, three, and one for the first one. Okay, so there is the vector u. For v, we go two to the left and up three, four, five, six, somewhere there. And finally, we have w, which is uh, four to the left, three up. So about there. Okay, and we are interested in the angles between these. So we have uh, between u and v, maybe we'll call that alpha. Between v and w, we can call that beta. And we can also go from, from u all the way to w, and let's call that one theta. Okay. All right. So we want to find those three angles, and we want to make use of the formula here. So of course, we're going to need to compute some dot products and some magnitudes. Do the magnitudes first. So the magnitude of u, we have the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. So that's root 10. For v, we have minus 2 squared plus 6 squared. So that is going to be the square root of 36 plus 4. So square root of 40. If you want to factor out the 4, you can write that as 2 times the square root of 10. And finally, we have the vector w. And we're going to get minus 4 squared. should be careful there, right? Parentheses around the negative, so we don't lose the, you know, so we don't actually accidentally forget to square the minus sign. So minus 4 squared, we get 16. 3 squared, we get 9. All together, 25. That works out to be a nice number. We get 5 in that case. Okay. So we can do that. How about the angles? Well, let's start with alpha. Comes first in the alphabet, right? Cosine of alpha is u dot v over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Okay, so looking at our vectors up here, we have 3 times minus 2. Okay, and then we have 1 times 6 divided by root 10 times, oops, did it 2 twice, 2 root 10. Oh, but this time around we get uh, minus 6 plus 6, we get 0. So, I mean, no point in simplifying the denominator, the, the whole thing is 0. Okay. Um, so actually this time we can say exactly what alpha is. Uh, because for theta between 0 and pi, there's only one place where we happen to get um, cosine equal to 0. And that's at a right angle, pi over 2. So alpha here is pi over 2. Uh, turns out there's a special name for this situation where the dot product turns out to be 0. Uh, we call these vectors orthogonal. Uh, we'll be looking at that in the, in the next video. All right, moving along, uh, let's look at beta. So this time we're going to do v dotted with w, magnitude v, magnitude of w. And so we've got minus 2 times minus 4. 
and then six times three divided by um, two root 10 times five. Okay. All right, so that's minus two times minus four, double negative becomes positive, eight. Eight plus 18, okay, All right, is going to give us uh, 26 over, well, let's just write that as 10 times the square root of 10. And yeah, we could, we could simplify it a bit if we wanted to, but I think we'll just leave it at that. Uh, now, if we actually wanted to say what is beta, well, um, you're going to need a calculator for that, right? Um, you have to take this, get your calculator on to make sure it's on radians mode, take that, plug it in, hit your inverse cosine button, and you can figure out, you know, at least a decimal approximation for that angle. We're not going to be able to do much better than that in this case. Um, one thing you can kind of at least roughly see with this, um, let's see, so square root of 10 is what, slightly bigger than 3. So the denominator, a little bit bigger than 30. Um, numerator, 26, that's kind of close to 30. So the, the fraction here is sort of close to 1, right? It's a little bit less than 1. Um, and so for angles that are, are you know, for, for cosine values that are close to 1, well, that corresponds to angles that are closer to 0. Right? And we can see that in the picture that it's a relatively small angle here, right? Um, so it's, it's an acute angle for that positive value. Um, all right, uh, finally, we can do cosine of theta. And so now we're gonna do u dot w over magnitude of u, magnitude of w. And so three times minus four And then 1 times 3. And we're going to divide by the magnitude of u, which was root 10. Magnitude of w is 5. Okay. All right. Um, so minus 12 plus 3, we get uh, minus 9 over, well, there's not much I can do with the bottom, 5 root 10. Okay. And again, if we had a calculator, we could take that value, we could plug it in, use the sort of inverse cosine button to get the angle. Um, you can do that yourself if you're curious, um, calculator or computer. Uh, but the one thing we could note is that we do get a negative value this time, right? And negative values for cosine, they correspond to angles in that second quadrant between pi over 2 and pi. Um, so we do know that that has to be an obtuse angle. And again, we can, we can see that in the picture, right? We have the right angle here. Theta is a bit bigger than a right angle, um, so we expect it to be obtuse, whereas um, beta here we can see is less than a right angle. Um, acute, so we expect the positive value, which we get.